it's not hard to find the fountain of health. This, the best water in the world, comes from 680 feet down. Perfect. So it comes out of the ground nice and clean, huh? People come from all over Metro to buy the artesian water. It's good water, and I fill up every now and then. For many, now and then is often. I ran out, so I had to get some more. People up here keep empty jugs in their cars just in case they have time to stop by. It doesn't have an empty, flat taste. It has a lot of life in the taste. Jim Britton's wife developed lifelong contamination from well water on their farm. It said that she'll never be able to get all the toxins out of her system. And this is the purest water that we can find for her to drink, and so that's the reason why we drink it. Most who stop swear by the healthy water. I got four more to fill here. It's just fresh. It tastes clean. It doesn't taste like tap water. I, I never drink tap water. Back in 1979, is when I discovered there was a well here, artesian well, which I just I really wanted. I came out and looked at it and tasted the water, and I knew this was it. Oh, well, now there are watering stations at the watering hole here on Old 85. Back in the day, it was look for the crooked pine tree, and that's where you'll find the well water. Before Grace and Bud Scott bought, locals already knew about the water. People had been getting water here since 1950. Water that was free from the prior owners, so the aspiring artists continued the giveaway. And they said, we'll pay you 25 cents a gallon. And so I thought, well, that'd be fine. While Deep Rock Water and others have made offers for the well, so far the Scots are holding out, simply sharing their special water with the world, jug by jug. In Brighton. We yeah. need this nice, pure water. It's wonderful. John Bowman, Channel 2 News. Yeah.